Patsy. Bro. Patsy, Patsy game. Ha- wow. Happy birthday uh, to Hollow Tide. It's your birthday. Hey, it's your birthday. Hey, it's your birthday. Go play some Halo. That'd be pretty pretty fun having Bert your birthday on Halloween. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hollow Tide here. And, you know, we just made a video about how the next update for Halo Infinite seems like it's going to be a pretty substantial one. And I said that... You know, if 343 drops an article detailing even more stuff, that I would be pretty sad. And they did. And then they did the community live stream. And then they showed more stuff off. And quite honestly, I had people telling me that, oh, the next update's not going to be that big and stuff. And, like, between maps and modes and a new weapon, the new armor kit, sandbox changes, forge changes, just tons of updates... I really do think that it's it's a pretty massive update. We're gonna run through all that stuff in case you missed it. I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can, as quick as I can, because I don't like to waste your time. That being said, if you like Halo content and Halo news and you wanna stay up to date, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. Grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers. We're almost at 14,000, and I would just greatly appreciate it. All right, let's hop in. So we are going to get that third person mode for like firefighting and things like that. It'll also be available to be a setting in Forge. But we also are getting a Delta Arena playlist. It's supposed to be like the gameplay we experienced in 2004. This mode will feature no sprint, no clamber, increased jump height, and something very cool, friendly player collision. We will also be playing on seven, yes, seven new maps. And some of them are just absolutely beautiful they will be shown on the screen obviously they're halo 2 inspired you got like lockout and warlock the warlock map called conjurer looks insane to me it's pretty cr crazy in my opinion we're also getting midship that being said the ranked playlist is also going to get two maps added midship being one of them and a new map called fortress all of those are going to be available november 5th that being said, to go along with those new maps, we're going to get sandbox updates. We are getting the MA5K Avenger, and that thing looks like it shreds in close quarters. They said on the live stream that a full mag can take down two fully shielded Spartans with, like, the optimal time to kill kind of thing. And they said that they wanted to introduce it because of, you know, Halo 2's SMG. The MA5K will also be the starting weapon in the Delta Arena playlist. So that's very fun, very cool, very sick. As for weapons, it looks like the Commando and the Sidekick are getting a little bit of a nerf in terms of bullet spread and their bloom properties. Active Camo will also be changed when in the Capture the Flag game modes. So the Camo will keep the Spartan invisible, but the flag itself will be visible. The Thruster is also getting, I guess, a nerf and will act more like Halo 5s, where when you activate the Thruster, it will disable weapon use briefly as i said before forge is getting some updates i'm gonna leave a link to that in the description uh because it's just it's a lot of things and i don't know if it's meant for you know 95 percent of my viewers so go check that out if it interests you the battle pass does have a cool armor set in it it looks like half jaw so i do think that that's cool the halo 2 master chief armor set is gonna have to be paid for so that one is, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be upset about that. I get it. It's kind of stinky. But yeah, it's Friday. I don't know if there's going to be another blog post. The Forge overview came out four hours ago, so I don't think we're going to see anything else today. Monday, maybe we'll see something. I don't know. For a dead game, this is getting a lot of content, and I actually can't wait to play the, the Delta playlist and see how it feels. Again, I'm trying to hit hero rank slowly but surely. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave a link to all of the posts, all the blog posts from Halo Waypoint in the description, actually. So you guys can go check it out. There was like a live stream and stuff like that. I got a little shout out for my birthday. I love that. It made me feel really good inside. But that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys around the ring. Peace.